Hello, today I'm building in Copperdale. This is for my haunted Copperdale save file that's inspired by like 70s and 80s horror movies. Um, this is the second lot I'm building for the save file. So I think about a month ago I had posted my Copperdale cinema and this is the second commercial lot as well. Um, I might have one more commercial lot after this. I think I might do some sort of like graveyard lot. Um, when the new expansion pack comes out, like the life or death expansion pack. Um, and I'll see how that all works with it. So it'll, this next part for the save probably won't be until like after Halloween, I'm assuming. But this is the lot where the thrift like bubble tea place used to be. Um, my cinema is the thrift store and bubble tea place. And this ends up being... Um, a bunch of different shops except I made it a karaoke lot type because I wanted it to have some sort of like function because when I was originally planning my save file I was going to have like a strip of stores like this and then up top were going to be a couple of apartments except I don't really like having like the residential like rental lots with the stores underneath because then it's like the stores have like no purpose and they're kind of just there for like decor for the apartments and like your other sims don't just like show up to like occupy the space so i was like okay no apartments in this i had the same like realization when i was doing the cinema because that was originally going to have apartments up top too and then i was like no maybe this should actually have some like functional community lots which works out for me too because um my gameplay save that i've started um, is in Copperdale and I'm going to be using some of these lots like while I'm playing too and like while I complete it so now that this one is complete I could add this to that too but yeah it is a karaoke lot type it has a like video rental store downstairs which doesn't really have a functional purpose at all it's just like decor um, then there's the karaoke bar then there is a laundromat, which I'm, like, assuming you could, like, bring your Sims clothes to do laundry here if that's, like, the sort of gameplay you'd like to do. I feel like maybe it wouldn't work very well or be, like, maybe too time-consuming. Um, I don't really know. I've never <laughs> had my Sim do laundry, not on their lot. Um, and then there is, like, a little convenience store which has some vending machines and you'll see like much later in the video i put a one of the vet machines in because i liked how it looked compared to some of the other things except i realized that it doesn't have a purpose and so i switched that out later on like not in the video so it is a little bit different inside and then one of the upstairs pieces is just like an office space with like a lot of file cabinets so i thought maybe it's like either like a private investigator office or like a paranormal investigator's office. I don't know, maybe when I like come up with some more lore for the world, I'll have like a story behind it for that. I'm not really sure, <laughs> but I'm really like, this build is also outside of my comfort zone. I'm not really used to doing commercial lots and like anything that has like just a lot of rectangles and not a lot of like roofing is scary for me <laughs> because I just don't know how to build in this sort of like style um and i had looked up pictures of Derry, maine which is like where a lot of stephen king's novels take place and because like i used to be a huge stephen king fan and i've read a lot of his books and so i was like okay let me look that up because maybe it'll like inspire <laughs> this sort of lot for it and i had seen someone did like a painting of Derry, maine and um if I could find the picture again, I'll have it linked in my description, but that's what inspired the shape of this and like the roofing piece, at least to the right, like that shaped roofing piece and just like the dimensions of the lot. Um, that's what kind of like helped. Um, not so much the like um, build, like the types of buildings that were in there. I think that picture was a movie theater. I had already built a movie theater, so there was no movie theater that could be put on this lot. And I don't think the, like, wallpaper was inspired by the picture, too. I think I just kind of picked out whatever 
I thought worked well together and I felt like this was really good and this is like stuff that I usually use anyway like this brick um those shingles the only like different thing that I don't really use I don't really use so that like um brown siding or the like white tile and I feel like maybe the white tile ends up being changed later on I guess we'll see in a little bit because I don't really remember but I had a lot of fun picking out the decor items for the build because I don't really get to use these sorts of commercial signs in my builds. And so I felt like I was getting to explore build by catalog and like look at swatches of items that I don't normally pull out like this sign here I've never really used, um, which might be from Snowy Escape. I'm trying to see in the menu, but I kind of I can't really see what that's from but i think it was from that and more of the like cozy bistro kit items too i love that kit so um i feel like the cozy bistro kit is something that you really do need for my save file because i used a lot of it in the cinema where i think maybe this one i didn't use a whole lot of it but it's still just a really nice kit to have anyway but the wall sculpture section of the build by is what really started making me feel like the build was coming together into something that I really like. And it gave it some personality. It also looks really pretty at night. I think I take a picture of the build at night all the way at the end of the build. I also play around a lot with the lighting inside. So the lighting is like very different for each part like I know like the laundromat and the convenience store it's very like washed out lighting but the um video rental store has like a very like greenish hue in it but it's like a subtle green hue um you notice it more without g-shade on but I really like how it looks with g-shade it kind of like gives it a very like creepy vibe to it um because I was decorating this at night like in game at night so I could like see the like um like the lighting a little bit better <laughs> and then the karaoke bar I gave very blue lighting and so if you look at all of the stores like from like a bird's eye view <laughs> the lighting's like very very different but I feel like it's like it was important to just like create the right atmosphere for each of these buildings and when I first started this I wasn't really sure what um, all of these buildings were going to be yet like I had a idea of what I wanted to do like I was pretty certain that this like the one with all of the stuff on the windows right now is going to be the video rental store that was like the part that I knew I was going to do and I didn't even know this was going to be a karaoke bar yet um I was like oh I need like an arcade probably but there wasn't a lot of space for an arcade and the only arcade machines are like those really large ones. And so there's just arcade machines like downstairs of the karaoke bar. Um, so like the middle area with that window that ends up being just like taken up by two large arcade machines, a stereo and bathrooms. And then upstairs, there is a large bar and two karaoke rooms so it's like very very small this is a very tiny lot um and there's so many different businesses here so the inside really doesn't fit a lot of large items in it which helped me with being able to furnish it pretty quickly at least but I end up changing this section of the build and I bring out like um another wall to create some more dimension of it because I wasn't liking how it was looking and I didn't really know where to put a door. So it's like, oh, if I just raise out another piece of this, I can tuck a door away off to the side. And I'm pretty like, it's like, you could see like there's um like each section where there's wallpaper, you would think that area would be like a specific business. <laughs> but the side is a little bit strange because um I wanted the laundromat to be where that white um like section is and I needed like more space <laughs> so that like brown building with like the brick that I had just brought the little piece out like that ends up being mostly the laundromat and a staircase that leads upstairs to the other part of the build um you'll see it slowly coming together 
<laughs> so the entrance to that other part of the building is literally just a staircase that leads up to like the like private investigator's office i'm not sure what the storyline is going to be yet i will be creating sims and like houses for the sims in the world and i do want to take inspiration from the like stores that i have which right now is like all of these as well as the cinema has a thrift store up top and a like aerobic studio and i do want to create like characters for each of the um like businesses if possible there's not a lot of lots in the world and um at least two of them are going to be a sleepaway camp and then one of them is going to be a cemetery so it's like i don't have a lot of lots to work with for like creating sims for like houses and i wanted to like watch some like slasher movies and i wanted to re-watch that um season of american horror story that was like inspired by like 80s slasher and like i feel like it's mid-october and like the month like flew by and <laughs> i feel like i've missed so like so many like opportunities to like gather inspiration for my sims builds and like i had all these ideas for october builds and it's just like not coming together like i thought <laughs> and it's like it is because um a lot of my like nights are being spent playing dead by daylight um because i've been playing a lot of killer now and I, that's like what I've been looking forward to doing. <laughs> so I haven't really been building as much, even though I have all these ideas, like all my brain wants to do is play my little trickster matches and do that. <laughs> and so like, I don't know what my build next week is going to be. And like this build is already like a day late because I couldn't get myself to do a, um, a voiceover yesterday i was like feeling pretty down a lot of the week and i was also pretty tired because i went to like a corn maze um a couple days ago now and it was a long corn maze and we got lost and um i just had to like follow a mother around <laughs> like to like help me out of the this corn maze i was like she's with her two children and i'm just like tagging along for the ride because i can't find my way out of this corn maze i've never been in a corn maze before um we were like stuck in there for like an hour and we didn't even like find everything we were supposed to and i was just like gonna start backtracking completely and just leave at the entrance and i was like who's gonna stop me if i don't solve the corn maze and i just come the way i came from <laughs> and i just like leave from that um entrance but then i decided to just follow people like there was this man who was talking to his grandson and he like had a lot of knowledge about maps and i, I couldn't tell if they were looking for the exit or if they were just looking for all the little like stations that you had to find but at first i was like this is the man to follow he wasn't though because um i don't think they were looking for the exit <laughs> so i followed him for a while and then uh, i ended up following somebody else and we made it out no thanks to me well i mean i guess the strategy was just um mooching off of other people who actually knew how to read maps um but yeah i put like a rusty car out back because i thought that it like just looked nice like the colors with this like there's this red brick and there's like all this brown and i thought that like a rusty old red pickup truck would look really nice in this sort of build um i dirtied up some of the windows and stuff like that too because that's just the vibe that i like in my builds um, I feel like it adds a little bit of character and it makes it feel a lot older than like it would look without all of those details. The exterior is pretty much done at this point now. We'll be getting into the interior pretty soon. I'm just kind of like going through things, seeing what else to add on the exterior. And for the interior, I was really just like picking out items for each section to get like uh, like an outline for what i was going to do for each build um because i just didn't know so i'll like pull out one thing here and you'll see that there's already stuff kind of lined around um like there's like a trophy case in the other area which doesn't actually stay in that part of the building i thought i was going to do a restaurant on 
that section where the like trophy case was um because like there's like restaurants that have like it's like high school sports memorabilia <laughs> and so it's like maybe that's like the vibe for that and i was like um i ended up changing that to the arcade because i think i was going to try and make the arcade where the like office space is and the office space is very tiny i was like there's no way that this could be an arcade and i feel like it's scary to have to just go to a staircase go up the stairs to one arcade machine that seems like a little bit too much <laughs> and so i'm like just trying to like figure out what rooms are going to be everything and you could see how large this arcade machine is i was like yeah that was not going to work up there so let's just do it down here and the windows were kind of throwing me off a little bit uh, my way to solve that was that i was using just curtains and i placed them over all of the windows so i didn't have to worry about any of the windows in the like karaoke section or the arcade at all um so you don't really see it and then the big like um entrance windows or like the sh like the front windows um i turned that into just a like entryway room with some more curtains on an archway leading into like the darker arcades so it's not like um so much sunlight inside of the like place because i wanted it to feel very dark and i wanted the very like intense blue lighting in there which is more intense without my g-shade on so all this lighting is going to look a little bit different with without g-shade but i still think it looks good anyway it's just a little bit more vibrant which i know a lot of people like usually for sim stuff is i've noticed that a lot of people's pictures they tend to have like reshades that make the colors very vibrant but i've never liked that for my own personal stuff even with like animal crossing i always used to edit my pictures with like lightroom to make them um not as vibrant and just like tone down the saturation of the pictures because that's what I prefer for my stuff but yeah this is the video rental store so I'm just pulling out some items that I think look good some file cabinets where I would think that they would pull out a bunch of the um like discs for the cases so you'd like bring the case up to the desk and they'd find the disc out of it so I think it's like a way to prevent people from stealing the discs out of things. I know that record stores do that too. So I was having just some areas where they can like, where you could pretend like there's like DVDs or something in there. I don't know. <laughs> or like discs, whatever. Um, and just like different toys and clutter. Because I thought that um, covering this like front desk or I guess like the register area with different um sculptures would look really cool and there's more like chests and stuff for more um like places where they can look through to give you the movie that you want um and then the rest of the place it's like i feel like it's very repetitive because i use the same like comic book stands as like the display cases because I really couldn't find anything else that I liked. And I thought that was okay. Um, a lot of the interior for this is a little bit repetitive. Um, it kind of like, but like for some reason, the repetitiveness gave me like a creepy vibe. It felt like very liminal and I didn't like it. And so I was like, maybe that's the right vibe for um, this sort of save file then is that like you walk in and it's like all the same stuff like the convenience store is very scary to me and there's like no reason for it it's just like it's so bright in there and it's so tiny and there's just a large mirror and for some reason there's like shelves with large stuffed animals for sale in there <laughs> i don't know it's like scared me a little bit like i could imagine like a horror movie scene in that little tiny store off of the side of the slot which is all day at the end because it's one of the last things that I furnished or maybe the laundromat was the last thing I furnished the laundromat doesn't have a lot in it either it's just what you would expect <laughs> in a laundromat um and I couldn't really like I wasn't liking the wallpaper choices in this store so I covered a lot of the walls with this red curtain and I really like how it ties in with the red tile on the floor and i really like that tile too um i like don't even know what pack that's from 
but I pulled it out and I was like, I've never used this before, but I feel like this is a really good vibe for what I want. Um, I like just every color in that tile floor with like the oranges, the um, reds and the tan tile um, paired with the red carpet. And then it ties in with the red curtains. So it all ends up working out really well. And I don't adjust the lighting in this area yet. I'll do that a little bit later. And I like sometimes I'll turn G shade off and I won't like edit it out. Um, I'm unsure if I edit it out all the times I turn off G shade. So maybe you'll be able to see the lighting without G shade if there's any part of it that um, I didn't edit out that shows the real lighting <laughs> compared to what it looks like when I have my shader on. And although the store doesn't have like actually like any functional purpose, like I don't think there's a single object in here that would function at all um i think it is a nice place for just pictures <laughs> like if you have a like a copperdale like save file with your teen sims i feel like this is just a nice place where you can maybe take some pictures of them um that's pretty much it though okay and see i'm changing the lighting now and even just like changing that like backlight to being a little bit like dim and a little bit green helped so much and i was like oh okay this is like ta like bringing the like vibe really well like i was like i feel like some sort of like zombies are going to appear as soon as i <laughs> change the lighting okay yeah you can see how green it was um and so i tried to like change it a little bit so it wasn't as green um i feel like maybe i would dim the lights a little bit more i don't think i uploaded this to the gallery yet so i can still do that but it's not as green as it was because I thought it was too green without G-Shade on. <laughs> but now when I looked at it, I think it's a little bit like, I feel like it could be a little bit darker in there. Um, but yeah, this is now the arcade, which is the downstairs part of the karaoke bar. Um, I use the, like, I don't even know what pack the carpet is from. I think that's for the, from that like pastel like pop kit. Um, it, I loved it in this area. I feel like it's what like created the entire like vibe for the karaoke bar. And I really struggled with picking out wallpaper <laughs> and I felt like this blue wallpaper was a little bit plain, but I couldn't really find anything else that I thought worked with it. And I didn't really like the brick all throughout. So it's just this like dark navy blue um for all of it including the upstairs as well um i'm using a lot of colors in this part of the build and it stands out way more compared to the rest of the build and this is kind of like the only part that actually has sort of like a gameplay purpose um so yeah i'm trying to fit in more of these arcade machines i'm like that's not gonna happen and also i need some bathrooms in this lot so let's just try and put in some bathrooms and then I struggle later picking out like tiles and um, wallpaper for the bathrooms. But I think it like stays sort of this blue hue throughout. And I think I use blue cabinets. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what I do for that. And I put a lot more of these sheer curtains around to break up some of that navy wall because I thought it was like too plain. But I couldn't really find anything else that I liked. And I was like, oh, these bars are huge. I don't know what to do. <laughs> but I really liked the bowling stuff bar. I felt like that one um, worked perfect for it. And the only place I could put it was up here. And later on, I do put a doorway leading out to the back like patio area because I had completely forgotten about it. So that's like one of the last things I do is I put a doorway out there and then I put some outdoor seating, which... Sims love to sit out there it was what I had seen when I was trying to record the um, intro video for this. And I was like, oh, that's perfect. I didn't expect Sims to sit down <laughs> there because I have these like benches against the wall. And then I have tables like to pretend like your Sims would sit at the benches and eat at the table, but they're not snapped together. So it's technically not possible. But like couples would go there and they'd like cuddle on those benches in front of the table. And I was like, it looks exactly like what I wanted, except you technically can't eat there. But there are some chairs that you could eat there. Um, it's like, well, yeah, you get food from the bar and drinks. So I needed like some like seats. Um, I also realized that I needed bar stools to make this functional as a karaoke 
place because that was like the only objects I didn't add in. So I add some bar stools around the place later on. Um, I think I use, sorry, I was losing my voice there, but I was going to say that I think that I use like tables from like, um, from the high school years pack i don't know they're like red and blue they're very vibrant i've never used them before which is also another thing that i like about doing this sort of save file is that i'm getting to use items that i don't normally get to use like i don't know there's a lot of swatches that i'm using that i don't think i've ever once used <laughs> and i'm like this is my one chance to actually utilize like some of these items that are in a different style that never will work for my other builds and like this is like the karaoke bar is like very different from what i usually make i feel like the video rental store is more of like my aesthetic and i do think the exterior also is um i think what would make it more of like my usual builds would have been like more wall dirt more like cracks in the um windows and stuff but I didn't do too much <laughs> like if I go back and I look to fix the lighting in the rental place like maybe I'll add some more cracks around but I feel like the exterior is like a good balance of like doing something that I usually don't know how to do which is like a community lot um and also like having it sort of be my vibe I think it's just the color palette and just like some of the decay on the walls helps that <laughs> and i was really trying to make this place in here feel like it's decorated for like a party like maybe you have birthday parties in here so i have a lot of these like party streamers around and these like neon wall decals which i don't know what pack those are from i don't know if they're from like the moschino stuff pack which i was trying to not use like downstairs in the bathroom because i was like oh i feel like maybe people don't really have that stuff pack um, and so I didn't use a mirror from it, but then I used those. I don't actually even know if it's from that stuff pack. It could be from something else. Also, I've never seen those signs before, the, like, square signs. They could maybe be from City Living, who knows, but I've never once even looked at those signs. <laughs> I think the bar is still functional with that, like, other sign that I put in front of it, because when I was taking pictures, there was still, um, a bartender there, and there were still people getting drinks, so I feel like it should be okay. Um, and now I'm just like trying to cover the walls up a little bit to give it some more personality. So I have like flyers here, maybe it's for like upcoming events around town, stuff like that. And any other things that fill this boring navy blue wall over here. <laughs> and so I'm picking out um, just like LED signs around. And like, I think I use like a penguin in a lot of the areas. Yeah, there they are. And I like size it up to be huge <laughs> and I'm like good that covers like the entire wall area and like originally I was like oh maybe I should have different themes for the karaoke rooms but I felt like the rooms are so tiny that it just wouldn't have worked out <laughs> um if it was like a little bit bigger that would be like a cool concept to have like like I don't know I know that like um Get Famous has a lot of like movie set stuff like it would be cool to make a karaoke bar that uses all of those things as um different themes for the karaoke rooms but I'm never gonna do that <laughs> but uh, maybe someone's done it before maybe there's something on the gallery like that already but okay so those the seats and stuff I use I think are from growing together or yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the icons are sometimes, but it wasn't from high school years. I know that much. <laughs> so it's either growing together or for rent, but maybe it was for rent because it was a little house logo. I thought growing together had a different like icon image. I don't know. Some of the like latest expansion packs blur into one for me. And I forget. I say latest. Some of these packs have been out for like a few years now, but um, I don't know. I don't understand the concept of time anymore. And yeah, so now I'm going to start doing the bathroom down here. And this is where I'm like, I don't even know what to pick. And I feel like it's going to throw off like the aesthetic of what I've already created. <laughs> and like, you see that mirror I wanted to use, but I was like, oh, I feel like maybe I shouldn't use like one item from one stuff pack, which I mean, I like the larger mirrors in here anyway. I think it looks fine. Um, I'm not completely sold on the white tile floors. 
but I kept them anyway. Like it looks so bright when you put the uh, like the regular lighting in, but I changed it to the blue as well because I'm like, we can't have different lighting. The bathroom has to be really blue as well as the rest of the bar. But like as I was doing the lighting in here and stuff, I was thinking about this one Dead by Daylight map that's like Greenville Square. It's this large movie theater and it's one of my favorite maps in that game and i literally just got it last night when i was playing as trickster and i was like so excited because i was like maybe i get a mori outside of the movie theater <laughs> because that's like my favorite place to be um but then there's like this cutest little survivor that i found at the end and then they like led me to the hook because they were like didn't want to leave and i guess they wanted to just like give me my like last elimination and then I felt like it would be rude of me to carry them all the way in front of the movie theater for the Mori. And so I was like, I was like, I feel like that's disrespectful. And I'm like, am I being rude if I do that? Um, so I didn't do that. But anyway, that's like one of my favorite maps. And I was thinking about the um, arcade in there, which is really pretty and has like a like blue tint to it as well and it's very small too so it like gave me confidence that i could have an arcade that was tiny in here except i mean if we only have one arcade machine that is like four tiles long isn't really a lot you can do about that but now we're in the convenience store which is where i was saying it feels very creepy and it's so bright and there's not a lot of windows around and i was trying to like pick out like items and like shelving that would work I just kind of settle on these um like there's ones that are for warm food and ones that are for cold food i don't know how they work <laughs> um i feel like maybe i just don't i don't understand some of these objects so i don't know if this actually like does anything in gameplay um if that's from like get to work or not something i don't know but i do change out the vending machine to the right that's like just the like light blue one because it is a vet one and it does nothing so um i change it to something else i don't remember what it is maybe like a soda machine and then i have like the sims capsule machine over there which could be nice to like collect all of them and then these um glass shelves that i put the like plushies on it's like really i feel like it doesn't make a lot of sense but i didn't know what to put in this area of the builds the only like purpose of the convenience store anyway is the vending machines which we don't really have just vending machines scattered around in community lots around the world unless it's like the special worlds that actually come with the vending machines so i feel like it's still just like a nice thing to have inside one of these places um you could get the capsules that i think you can only usually get in the snowy escape world so now you could kind of collect them over here if you put it in your worlds and maybe it's like i feel like this lot is in a style that you can place this in like any world probably i don't remember what size lot this is i completely forgot but i feel like it could literally be placed almost anywhere and it would work out just fine for it anyway and then like the laundromat is very standard i don't put a lot in it I feel like I was losing some momentum <laughs> and like I was going to put more stuff on the walls in here and I was like no I feel like like laundromats are so boring anyway like I remember when our like dryer was broken um I would like go weekly to the laundromat and it like it was like a nice outing for me at the time because at that point all i used to do was read like constantly and like now my attention span doesn't really allow me to read books anymore but um back when i was like i don't even know how old i was maybe i was like 20 at that time i would just like every week enjoy going to the laundromat and just reading my book there and they're like the laundromats are boring there's nothing there except for some tables to fold your laundry on stuff to wash your clothes shelves that have like supplies on it <laughs> um i do end up adding a like actual laundry basket in here because i don't know if you would need one or not so i like go back in and i put a laundry basket that actually holds clothes in it there's also a vending machine in here too because at least like i know that 
when I was a kid, I would like, they have like those candy machines and they also have machines where you could buy snacks and stuff. Um, I didn't have a lot of space, so I didn't have a lot of items to work with, but I was like, at least there's a vending machine in here. And I do realize now that another thing that laundromats usually have are like seats at the front where you could sit and wait for your laundry to be done. I completely forgot about that detail because when I used to go, I used to just stand in front of the dryers and just read and that's what i would do so i forgot that there was usually seats and like i guess like benches could have been placed outside um maybe i'll add just a couple benches in the back of the lot um it's really not that important though to have some more benches around but if it's like if i feel like there's space for it and i could add a little bit more detail outside maybe i'll add some stuff before i upload it to the gallery and like i'm like on maybe i already uploaded to the gallery i can't even remember now because i did play test this already when i was doing the like screenshots and stuff um so i don't actually know if this is uploaded and this is like a day late because again i couldn't get myself to do the voiceover yesterday um and now i'm like i don't know if i'm gonna have a speed build next week because i like i feel like my brain needs like a reset week and the only thing that's stopping me from giving myself a reset week is that, like, it's October and I really wanted to do all of these Halloween builds. <laughs> um, so I'm going to just, like, just try and just build for fun. Maybe do a little Halloween build just for, like, my own enjoyment. And if I get it done um, and if I get edit it, then there'll be a video next week. Um, I was, like, playing around with the idea of doing my Dead by Daylight map build but i think it's going to be too big to like take on this week so that might just have to be a different week and i have some halloween collabs that i need to build for which is due at the end of october and the beginning of november so i'm like i don't have a lot of like my own builds to do <laughs> but i'll be having i halloween builds going into november because i didn't really get to build as much this month as i had kind of thought mostly because i've been like playing dead by daylight usually for fun um so i haven't been building as much as i thought i would be and i was also into paleo again but i haven't played paleo in like about a week because i it was i got into a loop of making a bunch of money to buy pumpkins for my build and then not wanting to have to go on every hour to water my crops <laughs> like it felt excessive so i haven't done that in like a little bit but I talked over the entire office space pretty much. It's pretty boring. Um, maybe there'll be some lore about this build in the future. Whenever I finish the entire save file, I'll you'll probably have like a save file overview. And that would probably get into more of the story for each of these builds as I like showcase them. Um, which won't be for a very long time. The save file is going to take me probably months and months. Um, I don't see an end time until probably spring, <laughs> to be honest, because I'm not focusing on this every single week like I did with my Glimmerbrook one, where I built a house every single week and the save file was done in like about a month because Glimmerbrook is so tiny. This one I'm not building for every week and it is like a full world. Um, so it's going to take me a long time and i don't want to rush it i don't want to like burn myself out from doing anything but yeah this is the last part of the build which is just the patio which i had forgotten about <laughs> and i was like oh yeah i had this outdoor space that i was going to put seating in so i just add some tables so that your sims can have a place to eat outside of the bar and now these are the screenshots you could see it at night you could see some of the lighting inside the pictures there's not too many um, it is a small lot, so there's that. <laughs> and a lot of the places aren't, like, completely full of clutter, which I think is okay, too. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll maybe see you next week with a video if I manage to build something small that I can just edit and enjoy the process of doing. But yeah, thank you so much. Bye.